See him on the street when they're creeping now. We see him in the pool when they're freaking now. We scream and shout like a banshee wail in the belt of the lies being reefed about. See, they're addicted. There's no comprehension. I cut the tune of all those rules attention. Money's never too too far them to mention. No apprehension, instant redemption. The rap scene in Ireland's gotten really, really big over the last few years. Yeah. But you kind of got into rapping before all these guys did. Well, the first stuff I started listening to was when I was about kind of 14, 15, which was in excess of 20 years ago at this stage. <laughs> we heard the uh, a bootleg type of Buddy Mind School of a group called Scary Air, a couple of guys from Dublin and Kildare, and they were rapping in Irish accents, yeah. and it didn't sound ridiculously cheesy, and I was kind of gone, okay, right, that's possible, maybe, yeah. Have our Beatles dicted our pedigree, enough for you, too much for me. I think I've had enough of this, laddie da we do. We even tolerate the random spas like boars that Jeffrey Dahmer ate bon voyage. Now what pretty much too straight to touch. Here's something that'll increase your laugh. The lion's ass from now for yourself, it's rough the time talk to you. Be nice to know you. The sights and sounds I never got to show you. They'll still be there when I rock the show. I go either one, I am a fuss. Sneed if we know we can now throw it over when I'm showing you both to the sides of the place. My leave alarms going home to back to the show when I pass the tenement down. I pair with a moan, I shall always alone. I like the way actually in your raps you kinda you throw in the odd eye. Words. Like as far as I'm concerned, like rapping whatever way in the first place, it's it's about kind of representing yourself and where you're from, etc. So that's why anyone doing it in an accent that isn't their own is forget about it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But like that, like I'm gonna throw a few words of Irish in, whatever. If it rhymes, throw it in there. Happy days. Absolutely. Never got sympathy, not from you, not from me. I live in a fantasy. They do it all so happily. That you in the ministry. That will never ever be It'll stick to our pedigree Enough for you, too much for me about the topics that you rap about? I've always just rapped about whatever kind of is going on in my life at the time or maybe some particular event that happened or whatever. Like this album, it's called The Bitter Truth. I called it that. It's a line out of one of the songs, but it actually kind of um, kind of represented a, the tone of the album as such. Like, it's kind of like me putting across a few home truths, maybe. Yeah. Maybe subliminally, maybe not, but you yeah. have to listen to find out. There's no corner back, no reverse track, one to the wine button. There's no bridge in Malahoy till you get home to something. You may as well be Martin Jeff because you listen to nothing. I try to tell you put your start on an hour or something. They never get sympathy, not from you and not from me. I live in a fantasy. We do it all so happily. Our Jew in the ministry, well, that'll never ever be. They'll stick to the pedigree. Enough for you, too much for me. They never get sympathy, not from you and not from me. I live in a fantasy. We do it all so happily. Our Jew in the ministry. That will never ever be, it'll stick to the pedigree Enough for you, too much for me A Jew in the ministry That will never ever be A Jew in the ministry Enough for you, too much for me A Jew in the ministry Never ever be a Jew in the ministry. No for you, too much for me.